So I've put a lot of Kirby content on this channel, mostly combos and other tips for improving in the competitive scene, but today we're mixing it up. Here's some completely useless Kirby tech and facts that you might not know that will not improve your game in the slightest. P. Jiggle's useless fact series was an inspiration for this video and I would love to make more of these. So if you'd like to see more, let me know some obscure Kirby stuff in the comments or message me them on Twitter. So here we go. P. Jiggles made a video a while ago talking about the Super Leaf. Characters that get this item receive a tail and ears. But for a few characters, they only receive the tail. Jigglypuff, Fox, and Lucario already have very similar ears, so it would look silly to put the ears on top of the other ears. Well, guess what? When Kirby has the power of these characters, he still gets the ears despite also getting the ears from the character. This looks really silly, especially for Jigglypuff, so I definitely can see why Nintendo didn't put the ears on those characters. However, they forgot about Kirby or just didn't care enough to implement it in the game. Which I totally understand. Now, for most items, when you hail them with Kirby, you heal 1% and that's it. However, some of them act a little differently, like explosive ones. There's also food and other healing items. Since they heal more than 1% when you pick them up normally, Kirby also gets that percent healed when he inhales them. Except for the fairy bottle, which heals 1%, but if you're 100 or more, it'll heal 100. But for items that change properties, like those included in Special Smash, they heal 1% and also give Kirby the effect. The Dragoon parts and Daybreak parts also equip them to Kirby. So it's generally better to inhale them if you aren't at risk of getting hit by your opponent. And if you inhale the last part while you also are inhaling the opponent, your opponent will do an animation that looks like the one where you trade with the grab, but they don't take damage and aren't susceptible to grab cooldown, which is kind of interesting. But you cannot inhale Grass, Pokeballs, the Kukos, or Mr. Saturn. I guess it's sort of because they're kind of like characters, so it would be a little dark that Kirby could just inhale them and they disappear. But Kirby can inhale assist trophies, so I don't really get the logic behind that. The Kukos still get affected by the wind box though, which kind of looks funny. Most of this is common knowledge, but here are some that are a little different. First is the Curry. Unlike every other item, you don't heal any percent, but you still get the power. This might look like an oversight, but since the Curry is from the Kirby universe, it may be intentional and reference Kirby's non-cultured palette. I don't know. Also, Kirby looks really funny when he inhales with this effect, since his mouth is forced closed, but it still has the wind box. But my favorite item's property brought to my attention by Elfan in my Discord is the Warp Star. When you inhale this, you actually ride the Warp Star, which is a neat little trick. Interestingly, Kirby needs to complete the Swallow animation for items to heal Kirby or do the intended effect. Looking back, that's probably the real reason Kirby doesn't heal from the Curry, since he doesn't finish a Swallow animation. If he inhales a Warp Star along with a different item, the item will simply disappear and not heal Kirby at all or give him the special effect. As far as sound effects go, there's a sound that Kirby makes when he inhales an opponent and receives their power. But there's a different sound that he makes when he inhales an opponent without getting a copy ability, like when he inhales a sandbag, another Kirby, or one of the Mob Smash opponents. He does get the regular sound though if he inhales a Kirby who has a power. Kirby's neutral B wind box is actually bigger than the command grab portion of the move, which is the reason that shielding can sometimes save you from the move, despite it being a command grab. But that's useful stuff, and we aren't here to talk about that. There are some fun things you can do with this wind box. First, Kirby can't inhale characters larger than him, but the wind box still activates, causing Kirby to move with his opponent, which looks pretty funny. Although, I guess Hero can get Hocus Pocus to get large, so there are situations where that can be useful, so let's edit that part out. Oh, and while you're there, also remove the fact about not being able to inhale Mr. Saturn, because Peach can get that with her down B. No useful information in this video. Some other funky attributes of this wind box being so big is being able to hit yourself with a rolling crate, and also shooting the metal box halfway across the stage when there's an item in front of it. There's probably more, but that was what I was able to find. So I'm not making this video too long so we can have room for more of these videos in the future. If you have any random obscure Smash facts, Kirby or non, I would love to hear them. Let me know in the comments below. Kirby actually told me to tell you to subscribe, so make sure you do that, and also subscribe to my second channel, Juggle Boy Minus, for great moments like this one. 
and let's see how this one goes. DoorDash. What's next? Grubhub. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.